in the beginning of the story we see a guy named Rashidul Karim in front of Mr. Ali's apartment. Mr. Karim says that he wishes to share a story with Mr. Ali and he is also willing to pay for Mr. Ali's session. Mr. Ali smiles and says that he wants to hear the story first. Mr. Karim says he used to be a math professor. His work in PhD is quite notable. During his time abroad, he fell in love with a girl called Judy. They got married and went to a honeymoon as couples do. Everything was going smoothly. But one night during their honeymoon, Kareem wakes up and sees that Judy is not by his side. She is in the restroom, crying. When Kareem knocks the door, Judy opens, but she says that she got really scared for some reason. When asked, Judy says that she woke up in the middle of the night and found that Kareem was not breathing. He was as cold as a block of ice. When she reached to call the hotel reception, Kareem suddenly opened up his left eye, which really scared Judy. After getting back from their honeymoon, Judy and Kareem both started feeling uneasy. As time goes by, Kareem gets frustrated regarding everything. His research work on math comes to a halt. Judy starts taking a lot of sleeping pills before going to bed. Then one night when Kareem was sleeping, Judy took a pencil and plucked out his left eye. Then we see Mr. Ali and Mr. Kareem in the present time. Mr. Kareem asks Mr. Ali if he can give him an explanation. Mr. Ali tells him to come back the next day. Mr. Kareem doesn't come back, but he sends a parcel to Mr. Ali. The parcel contains a letter from Mr. Kareem and Judy's sketchbook slash diary. In the letter, Mr. Kareem writes that after that night's incident, Judy lost her mind and committed suicide or died due to an overdose of sleeping pills. Then we see Miss Riley taking out Judy's sketchbook. It was full of notes here and there. She writes that she loves Kareem and that she doesn't want to leave him. By the end of the sketchbook, Judy loses the ability to draw and blames herself for Kareem's sadness. She also writes that she can't sleep and that she realizes that she is slowly losing her mind. Next we see Mr. Kareem meeting up with Mr. Ali in the cafe. Mr. Ali says that he has a hypothesis. He says that people who meditate for years can lower their body temperature for a few degrees at will. Same thing could be true for Mr. Kareem. It could be possible that when he thinks about math very deeply, he goes to a similar meditative state which was unfamiliar to Judy. Mr. Kareem confirms that this happens to him a lot. He would be thinking about math all day and forget about everything else. Next, Mr. Ali says that that night when Judy saw Kareem opening his left eye, Mr. Kareem was actually awake but in a meditative state. Mr. Kareem was tired but his brain was still thinking about math. Mr. Kareem asks, but why did I open just one eye? Mr. Ali says, due to your meditative sleep-like state, when your wife touched you, your brain just opened one eye as you were really tired. It was your left one because you were a lefty. A right-handed person would have opened the right one. Mr. Ali then says, I believe your wife didn't pluck your eyes out. You always keep a pencil and notebook under your pillow to jot down anything that comes to your mind. So my hypothesis is that it was actually you who did it in your unconscious meditative state. Your brain blamed your left eye for everything that was wrong with your life, which is why you unconsciously plucked it out. Mr. Karim looks at Mr. Ali with shock. Mr. Ali further adds, if your wife really wanted to do something like that, she would have done it without thinking. She wouldn't go under your pillow and look for a pencil. She would have just used anything that she could find near her. Mr. Kurim thinks about everything Mr. Ali just said and finds truth in it. He thanks Mr. Ali for his explanation and says that he has been hating Judy since that night, but he thinks that he can let go of that hate now. In the last scene, we see Mr. Ali receiving another parcel through the mail. Mr. Kurim has sent him a painting done by Judy. There was a small note there that said, This is my favorite one. I hope you like it, sir. Thank you for everything.